Don Schoenheider. Don was elected as mayor of Lake Forest in April 2013. He served as third ward alderman in May of 2010 until he was elected mayor. Prior to that, Don served for five years on the City of Lake Forest Building Review Board, one year as chairman. With 27 years of experience in the area of commercial real estate development, Don is an executive with Liberty Property Trust. He has particular experience in state and local government and community development. Someone asked me the other day, what, what's the most fun part about being mayor? I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, honestly, one of the most fun things about being mayor is doing something like this. Uh, it's great to have a chance to come and speak. It's great to have a chance to hear residents talk about what's important to them, ask questions, uh, and hear what's on their mind. We heard a lot of what was on their mind on Monday night if anybody happened to watch the council meeting. <laughs> Someone asked me the other day, um, did you always want to be mayor? And I said, you know, I never wanted to be mayor. Um, it's a little bit like being in the military and, and you're in a line and people, they ask for volunteers and everybody steps back and you weren't paying attention. But it's been, it's been a terrific and an incredibly quick year and a half since I stepped in for a former Mayor Cowie. And it's been a real joy, and it has been so great. The thing that's been so amazing that I find about Lake Forest and Lake Bluff as well is how much people are willing to give back, how much people are willing to contribute. And I don't mean just dollars. I mean their time and their ideas and their passion for our community. It's incredible. I can, I can honestly tell you in the year and a half I've been mayor, I've asked a lot of people to do a lot of things, and the answer no has never been one I've gotten. So it's an incredible opportunity, and I would encourage anyone who wants to get involved to do so. You know, if you want to get involved on a board, on a commission, on a volunteer committee, get involved with the caucus. Go to the caucus website, fill out a volunteer profile form, uh, and raise your hand. Send me an email. Send Bob Kiley an email. Send Susan Banks an email. We love to get people involved in this community because that, that is absolutely what makes it so strong. Talk a little bit about, uh, much like Kathy did, a little bit about what's happening in the community. In 2012, we actually completed a strategic plan, took a look at all aspects of the community, and I'm happy to tell you that today in 2014, just about 100% of the items that we've talked about are either have been implemented or in the process of being implemented. You know, there's nothing worse than a plan that gets done and then it gets put on the shelf. And I would really applaud and, and uh, give credit to city staff for doing that. They have really pushed the plan and it's been terrific. You know, the plan's really been made up of several things. Uh, fiscal stewardship, as everyone knows, and I just joked with Kathy, dollars are important. Um, we're doing everything we can to do everything we're able to from a service delivery standpoint with as few a dollars as possible. You know, we're fortunate in Lake Forest to have the lowest real estate taxes of any community on the North Shore. Um, we were, uh, we continually try to figure out ways to do things with shared services. Kathy mentioned the shared dispatch program, which will save the city of Lake Forest $1.6 million over five years. Uh, we buy shared paving, we shared salt, shared cars and equipment. Um, we're always looking for ways, and, and I, I know Bob and his staff and Drew and his staff as well are always looking for ways uh, to do things better, maintain a service level that this community expects, but to do it with little or, or as little dollars as possible. The other thing is maintaining the community character. You know, we really, we've, our plan and our focus of our community is really focused around four different things. Um, family, tradition, education, and philanthropy. And when you think about that, it really kind of ties in everything that those four words talk about to everything we try to do as a community. You know, we're trying to encourage innovation. Um, Susan Kelsey, who's here with a bunch of great interns, um, has led an item, uh, led something on the uh, Grove Cultural Campus called, called the Business Accelerator. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, but if you aren't, you should find out about it. There are 60 businesses in Bennett Hall on the Grove campus right now that are in some stages of development and growth. We have a, a huge waiting list for new businesses and those businesses are coming in there and they're able to collaborate with each other, they're able to collaborate with people within the community, experts in particular fields of business and they're able to, and what they're doing is they're hiring people. They're hiring Lake Forest residents, they're hiring 
college students, they're bringing in interns. Those are the kinds of things, and Kathy mentioned as well, that we're excited about creating a stable, strong, growing business environment in a climate that uh, is really positive for business. The other thing I'm very excited about, we had our first meeting on Tuesday of what's called the Founders Council, which is basically a town gown committee. It's an opportunity for the college and the community to meet on a regular basis, discuss ways to better collaborate. You know, I, I can't imagine living in a community that doesn't have a college. The excitement, the energy, the benefit you get on both sides. It's just really an extraordinary thing. And I think um, perhaps that we have taken it for granted a bit, and I don't want to take it for granted. There's a huge resource there, and so many things that we as a community and residents of Lake Forest can take advantage of. So I'm thrilled where that's going and where I think it'll head. Uh, we talked a little bit about financial constraints. You know, we're also talking about environmental stewardship. Uh, we're very careful about doing things in a green manner. We've implemented a new bicycle master plan. Uh, for those of you with a LEAF or for those of you more fortunate with a Tesla, um, we do have an electric charging station now behind City Hall. Um, we're really focused on continuing to build community infrastructure. Uh, I can't be more proud of what's happening at Forest Park. And you're seeing the renovation of that park, uh, the, really the oldest park on the lakefront. And the renovation of that, $3.5, $3.6 million of that, 80% uh, of those dollars have come from private contributions. Uh, they've been as big as hundreds of thousands of dollars and as small as five. And it has really made a significant impact. And when that project is done, I think we'll all have a lot to be very proud of. The other thing, obviously, we're all very excited about is uh, the new hospital. Uh, Northwestern Lake Forest Hospital hopes to break ground on a new $400 million project in the fall, be completed by 2017. The thought of having a world-class healthcare facility in this community, I think, should make all of us not only very proud, but very happy as well. We talked about volunteerism. Last year, there was over a million hours of volunteer time that was given by people in this community. And again, when you think about it, people, I get questions from other mayors saying, how do you, what makes Lake Forest so unique? It's you. It's everyone who's willing to stand up and say, yes, I'm willing to do it. talk a little bit about the business environment. We're trying to create a positive business climate. A lot of exciting things have happened over the last 12 months since we've been here. Uh, Market Square has a new owner, L3. Uh, you've probably seen, if you walk back from lunch today, some scaffolding and things that are up front. One of the very first things we talked about with the owners was we need the infrastructure of Market Square to get back to where it should be. And they have been phenomenal to work with. They're putting in, they're working on life safety items. You can see they're tuck pointing, they're going to redo the roof, they're redoing windows. Those are the things that don't make you extra money, but those are the things that are the right thing to do. And I couldn't be more pleased with their response and their ability to work with us as a community. Uh, we are looking to have a very long partnership with them, and we're thrilled about the activity that they're creating. Obviously, this building was sold. Um, it has a new owner, and that owner is going to invest dollars in this and continue to make it such a special place that's part of our community. Uh, we talked about the hospital. And some other exciting things happening as well. We have, we've gone through the process of soliciting proposals on the Laurel Avenue site, the 10-acre site that was municipal services. Um, we've got some tremendous interest in that site. Uh, and I'm thrilled about where it's going, I'm where it is now, and I think where it'll progress to be. It, it gives us an opportunity, and Kathy mentioned as well, to create more of a diverse housing stock. And that's one of the things I know that it's really important to us. Um, we're, we're such a wonderful community. We have such great homes, old and new. But there tends to be sometimes kind of a gap in that middle. And I think the Laurel Avenue project could potentially allow us to create a very diverse housing stock by that. I would mean potentially condominiums or apartments or townhomes or something like that that would fill a need, I think, and fill a gap in this community that perhaps we don't have now. Um, we're doing a business outreach program. Uh, Susan Kelsey is leading us in calling on 51 major companies here in Lake Forest. We want to hear what they have to say. We want to hear what the city can do to help them. We want to be there for them. And if they've got a problem, we want to know about it, and we want to help them try to fix it. We talked a little bit about the accelerator. The other thing that I'm very focused on as well is um, doing something on the West Side train station uh, for a couple of different reasons. Number one, we have been aggressively over the last couple of years pursuing a, an Amtrak stop for Westlake Forest. And 
we believe we're making some progress with that. It would be the only Amtrak stop in Lake County. Um, but to get that, we're going to need to do a pedestrian underpass. Uh, staff has done a wonderful job of soliciting grants for preliminary engineering and design work, almost $2 million. The engineering and design will be done in November, and right now we're out trying to find about $4.5 million uh, to see if we can fund that underpass. And there will be a basket at the door, just in case. <laughs> But uh, I have been, Bob has been, a variety of people have been closely involved in trying to find those dollars because it's important for the Amtrak stop, but it's terribly important for safety. You know, we lost another person two weeks ago. It's hard to imagine how we cannot be focused on that, and we're going to be, and we're going to get it done. Last thing, too, talking about residential. We talked about housing. We are so fortunate to be working with a group called Community Partners. Um, they've done four individual homes uh, throughout the community. Uh, they've rehabbed them. Uh, they get use dollars, some small amount of city dollars, tax credits, uh, and their own resources to create homes for uh, uh, coaches at the college, uh, moms who uh, want to keep their kids here but can't afford it. Um, we want to do more of those with them, and we're terribly fortunate to be a partner with them. They've done a great job. They've also bought the senior cottages on the west side of town. They're running those very efficiently, uh, much better than, than was done in the past, and I think I'm, I'm thrilled to say that uh, we're going to do some more with them as time goes by. And finally, there's a lot of new construction going on. There's actually 24 new homes being built in Lake Forest right now. It's hard to imagine, but that must have been a statistic you made up, Susan. Um, but again, we're excited about the prospect of what we can do with Laurel Avenue. We're excited about the ability to create a diverse housing stock that's a good thing for our community. And as I wrap up, a couple of other things. Um, you know, we have, Kathy mentioned consolidated dispatch. We're looking at consolidated purchasing. Uh, we have terrific services. Our senior center, our Croya operation that Todd runs is just tremendous. Um, we're looking at ways, again, to do things more efficiently and more effectively as a community. Uh, we've actually just implemented, as those of you who opened up your water bill a couple of weeks ago saw a surcharge on the water bill, which has kept us from raising real estate taxes. But those dollars that are coming from that water surcharge will go back into capital. Um, we, talk, we started the conversation with fiscal health. You know, unfortunately, almost 70% of our budget is taken up by personnel. That's salaries, but more importantly, pensions and health care costs. Those costs continue to rise. They're out of our control. And to maintain the quality of, of services that the city does and maintain the quality of the community that we all enjoy, the, the lines, as Bob's always fond of saying, are beginning to cross. And we're trying to move those out so that we don't have to make an impact on services. Those dollars that are coming from the water bill will go back into capital. Uh, doing things like road improvements, sewer improvements, things that have to be done in the community and that our community de really demands. To, that we, there's a reason we're here. There's a reason we chose to be in Lake Forest. And the quality of services that we as a community provide are really second to none. You know, again, you've, you've all heard me say it. I think it's a great time to be in Lake Forest. It's a great time to be in Lake Bluff, too, Kathy. I can tell you, the, the parade was a ball. Um, you know, we've got a lot to look forward to. Lake Forest Day, one of my favorite days of the year, uh, is coming up on August 6th. Look forward to seeing everybody there. We've got concerts in the square, which I hope everyone's enjoying. That, they are so much fun. We have a terrific farmer's market. I know Susan Kelsey's done a great job with that. I've been down there too often and have had too many cookies. Um, obviously, we talked about Forest Park and the great things there. And I'm particularly excited to think that the BMW Championship will be back at Conway Farms in 2015. So it's a wonderful place to live. It's a great place to, to be a part of. And I'm really honored to serve as your mayor. Thank you.